got pockets. Like I feel very like maiden woman. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Alicia here. And today we're gonna switch it. Let's just go through it. This is a haul from Gap ASOS and Forever 21. Because them niggas is going out of sale and you need to see what I bought for $75. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this shit on the gram anywhere. Just support me. Because you love me. I have always, always, always wanted um, a denim dress. It's a mini dress. I gotta figure out how to like to properly tie this so that it looks like cute, but it's so nice. So I usually wear 16. I sized up. It is accentuating my body very, very nice. Buns look good, titties always look good. And to be honest, I'm really excited it's a very nice quality material i just like that it's nice on the hip area and the waist area that everything just you know obviously hips are down here waist is here i didn't go to fashion school i think it looks really nice the quality is definitely definitely there it's super thick as well and um i usually wear 16 and i size up to 18 and i was discussing with my roommate because she's like a super duper shopper Shopalista, Shopperoni, and she was like, "Why don't you get your size?" And I was like, "Something tells me to size up because it said that it had like a stiff, um, like a stiff denim to towards it." And I was like, "I don't want to experience that because I want to wear this on my friend's birthday sometime next week." And she had the express shipping for like 19 bucks for a whole year, and I was like, "I might as well." So I just did a click and click and click it and sh ship it and click it, where I basically picked it up at a bodega. And now it's about five. Now the Forever 21 bag. I like a bat, a bass, a basic black top. Today's always looking good. Um, this is a little tight on my arms. I would say if I could go back, knowing what I know, I probably would have got a 3X, but then I feel like when it shrink, it would have been a little, so it all work out. It all work out. This is a basic like black top. This is your like typical black top. It is a little short on the torso, so like, yeah, okay. So this is probably meant 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 meant, meant for. Um, I want to say somebody with a short torso, and maybe somebody who is wearing high-waisted jeans or high-waisted pants more often. It's cute, it's basic. I wanna say I spent like five bucks so on this. This is our next item. This is another thing where the arms are super long, which I like, I don't mind, I love it. It's fitting nice on the titties, which I always like. But we've got this short torso thing. This, this doesn't make any fucking sense. And the problem I'm having is that none of these things are returnable, and it doesn't matter if I size up or not. It still was gonna have the stretch, but it wasn't gonna have the length. And I have no idea what to do about that because I'm gonna be like doing this the whole time, and it's kind of fucking annoying. I didn't think about that. It's been a very long time since I've purchased anything from Forever 21. I feel like once ASOS became my bread and butter and my main choice of shopping for the thicky thicks, I don't think I've ever looked back. I like Nordstrom. Um, I'm definitely like a Target girl because I feel like they have our size, but this this makes absolutely no sense. Like, who wants to live in a fucking crop top world? Anyways, it's really pretty. So it's really nice. It is thick. I feel like I will enjoy it. I just need to find basically um, high waisted everything. I am such a huge fan of burnt orange and yellow so 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 much. Like anytime I see it, I feel like it's literally my color. This is a bodysuit. It fits really nice, so I don't have to show too much cleavage. Um, it'll sit nice. See, this is this. These are the things that make me excited. I cannot wait to actually let me put on a pair of jeans so that I can just get an idea. These are the jeans I was wearing today. If you guys absolutely hate this angle, you'll get over it. And the next time that I record a video, I will do better. How about that? 2020. Oh, fucking happy new year, everybody. Or did I already record a video? I probably did. Okay, so this, this looks nice with jeans. I don't like it with this bra. And I feel like the black is a little distracting, but I do like it with, with some blue jeans. Definitely looks great in the back. I'm living for that. All right, all yeah. right. So I finally reached a shirt that I'm like very disappointed in. I'm gonna insert a photo because when I looked at this shirt online, I definitely didn't think that it was good. On camera right now, it looks good. But as I get closer, I can show you guys how it looks kind of like faded. And that shit is not cute. 
I've always wanted like a nice little cheetah print. And a lot of times I buy these kind of shirts so that I could just record a video in just so I'm not in a fucking New York Knicks t-shirt or a fucking Viag Viagra Niagara Falls. And that's usually what I wear them to wear them for because a lot of the times like I I like a lot of black and basic and I just like to switch it up and this this is another thing why I probably will Forever 21 went out of business because they just didn't have enough fabric to finish the rest of the shirt. Like if you're gonna make sure it's for make sure it's for thicky thicks, make something that makes sense. Like this doesn't this makes absolutely no sense. And it's like I can't even share this with anybody. This the the arms are definitely making me happy right you know it's i'm covered here there's no tightness there's no issues like that and there's definitely stretch but i'll have to keep doing this or just own the fupa which i already do i feel like i definitely have like a little bit of a shape to me but at the same time this this is fucking ridiculous like this is why i stopped shopping at forever 21. i will say that i spent 75 dollars on like 10 things and i thought that was a great deal but this short torso situation is a bummer. And the fact that this looks like ashy. It just looks like somebody wore it, put it in the washer, and was like, here, take this shit, bitch. Wear it. And I'm okay, wait a minute now. Do I actually like something? Arms are fucking perfect. I like this. This is very, very sexy. I know you're probably wondering, like, bitch, why you don't take your panties off? It's like, it's not first of all, it's not that kind of party. Second of all... I don't feel like it. Okay, titties looking nice. I probably won't wear a bra with this because I should just let them hang because it's 2020. Um, this is, I think like maybe I spent like nine or 10 bucks on this. I really like it. I like that it fits me nicely. Like on my arm, it's not loose, it's not tight. I think this is a perfect size. There are some that I wish that I would have went, either went, went up and down. I'm gonna put a pair of jeans on so you guys can get an idea of like how this looks with jeans. Um, I didn't properly plan this video, but I've been wanting to do this video for a while and I'll incorporate like just things that I shop. I mean, like I wear makeup, but a lot of times this is like, obviously, you know, my basic every girl, every day look. Oh, this looks so good with jeans. See, what I bought this top for is like date night, you know? Maybe one on a day, first day, and I just need something cute. I really love turquoise on my skin. You get a nice little necklace, or you just let the titties chichis hang out. You know, you make your focus, your makeup, and your earrings, and you call it a day. And you put some heels or some zipper. Um, I like I said before, I really love burnt orange. I have mixed reviews about this shirt because I'm getting the itchies between like these fucking straps. But the cool thing is, I feel like it could just be like a cute off the shoulder situation if I wanted to, and then I could probably just you know buy me some high waisted jeans or high waisted pants or maybe even a, a, a skirt and wear it. So this is what the top looks like. I really love the color. I will say that I think the material is kind of cheap. Um. Out of everything, this is probably feeling the cheapest. Um, so yeah. And then this is our next shirt. I like this, but we still have this issue here. So the wackiest thing about this whole experience is that I like the tops. It's just not, they weren't advertised as crop tops and it sucks that this place is going out of business and I can't exchange or return this. Like, my sleeve situation is absolutely fine, feels comfortable, it's just this whole thing, and like, I don't want to have to untie this to do what it do, but, you know what, I'm going to work with it and do the best that I can. If you see them in upcoming videos, then um, this is what it's being used for. <laughs> but I do like this, I've been wanting a shirt like this for a while, I like this whole like boxy kind of trendy style, I think it makes my tits look good, like the whole thing's really nice. Maybe we just got home. This is like super short. And um, like no matter what, this literally comes off my titties. <laughs> it literally comes off of my body. I'm not the crazy about this, but um, I wonder. Okay, so the last thing I got from there are these earrings. These earrings are nice. They were like three bucks. And then I got this skirt, so I'm wondering if maybe this skirt will be a thing that looks cute it's literally a midi fabric feels cheap it's definitely like that trend but honestly it's really like cheap i think i got this for like 13 bucks maybe i still don't like it with 
Um, the skirt looks really nice. Like it hits just below the knee, which is nice. But I don't like it with this top, so I'll more than likely wear this with maybe something like this top or something else. So um, that was it for my ASOS, my Forever 21. And I just want to show you guys the things that I got at the Gap. Um, I purchased $53.76 on three coats. This one was $9.20. I look like a few fucking cute teddy bear. You guys know I love orange so much. It's so comfy. It's so cozy. You know, I used to like slack on a polyester for all, and I was like, what's the deal with polyester? Is it cheap or whatever? But the lining inside of it definitely keeps me warm. When I got this, I think that it may have fell on the floor, so I just washed it in the uh, washer on like super duper cold. And um, what else did I do? I just made sure that it was like a low tumble and I barely dried it so that it can dry on its own, but it's so cozy and so nice. I do like to wear like a little scarf because my chest obviously is super duper exposed, but I fucking love it. And it goes like just below my knees. I know this is probably a terrible video. I could have done this way better the way people do it, but I didn't feel like it. You'll deal. You get the gist of it. Basically, a black wool. Br By the way, the teddy coat is a double XL. Um, and any sizes or pricing and everything, I would definitely list in the screen as I'm talking. So this is a wool coat. This one should keep me warm. Wool is not playing. It's 100% wool. Um, I think it was like $300, but it doesn't have any lining inside of it. And... I've been wanting a wool coat. Oh my God, does this not have pockets? Oh, it does have pockets. You're not supposed to freak out. So this goes up to basically my kneecaps. I wanted something that I could sort of throw on like a duster. I want to say that this one was like $17 or $18, but it doesn't have the lining inside of it, which, you know, it doesn't bother me. It bothers me. It doesn't bother me. I feel like I will either layer this with something or I can wear this um, actually right now and it'll definitely keep me warm the only thing i hate about wool is it's kind of itchy but i fucking love it this one has um the lining as well and i want to say that this one was 27 and this has a little bit of weight towards it and then it's a little bit longer um and all of them just hit exactly where i want i've been wanting a black um wool kind of style wool blend coat for the longest and then it just it just looks like this is more like i feel more sophisticated looking um, it's definitely got some space. I like the when the coat is a little bit bigger. There's nothing worse than a coat that's too tight. Like my uniquely coats, uniquely my Uniqlo coats, um, don't have that space. And this one just has the lining, as you can see. Sorry for my armpits. And this I can sort of just throw on if I have like a cute little dress and I just want to go and I'm getting an Uber. Totally can do that. Let me know in the comment section if you like this style of lifestyle and clothing and try and incorporate just a little bit of everything for the channel. And I look forward to making more videos and welcome to 2020 where it's always going to be. What's it going to be? Um, I need to dye my hair. These ones looking crazy. Welcome to 2020 because it's going to explode and we're going to have some fucking fun.